Warning left. Yo, if you're watching this on Facebook, move your ass to YouTube. Find us, Rosal Hub, on there and subscribe. And I appreciate it. Let's get into the video. Hey guys, today I got Jim Hickenbotham with me, uh, a man I've known for many, many years. He's my business agent. And today we're going to cover what to do when you're injured. So actually, let's first get into the disclaimer, which I'm going to do later on. So we're not. Psych, here's the disclaimer. The facts, states, and events presented in this video are from the member's best recollection and may not be fully accurate. This video is intended for entertainment purposes only. Always consult with your local union about your rights and duties at your workplace. The opinions shared in this video are my own and Jim Hickenbotham's and do not necessarily represent my employer's position, strategies, or opinions. All of you shared are protected under the National Labor Relations Act. So, Jim. You know, a lot of people get injured on the job, off the job. They have questions. They don't know how to handle it. They call up their management team, and they try to figure out how to handle it. And oftentimes, you know, management doesn't really give you the right path of what you're supposed to do. And I think uh, releasing this video may actually guide people in the right direction. So first, I'm going to ask you the question, what do you do when you're injured off the clock? Let's say I'm lifting weights and I, I pull a muscle on my back or whatever. What do you do in that scenario? Well, for us, that's a disability claim. You know, anywhere it's a disability claim, but we have really good insurance. So if you get injured off the job, you call our insurance company, which happens to be central states in the, in the region that we're in and report the injury. You can have your doctor help fill out the forms and uh, you that guarantees that you get medical treatment and your health insurance stays in effect. And also that, uh, you can get some income coming in while you're out. It's not a lot. They don't give you 100%. That's for dead, I'm sure. But, but that's a notify your insurance company. Absolutely. Okay, great. Now, uh, side note, I was just thinking about this. Are we, we're covering Southern Supplement right now. Will this work in the other areas of the country? Well, yes. For, for disability, it will, yes. But... Mm -hmm. uh, we're actually going to talk about workman's comp and it's only the state of Georgia that I know about. Every state has different rules. Sometimes they differ slightly and sometimes they vary uh, wildly. So you have to check in your state. Yeah, absolutely. So some of this stuff, you need to contact your business agent, your local to figure out how to handle it. But this is for the state of Georgia and we have a lot of members. So love you guys. Appreciate you watching. Okay. So, now, let's say you are lifting a box in the truck and you pull your back muscle, something like along those lines. How should you handle that? Well, you know, lifting a box in the truck or stepping down out of the truck, you know, you twist an ankle, something like that. You have in the state of Georgia, you report it to your employer. Uh, first of all, I don't want, David, I know you feel the same way. I don't want anybody to get injured. But the job that we have, I really feel like uh, driving a package car is an industrial athlete job. And it's hard on the body. And we do have injuries. And this company we work for used to be the leading company for injuries. I don't know in the last couple of years whether that's changed or not. But people get injured. The first thing that you have to do is notify your management team. You know, if you, whether it's, whether it's, uh, Hey, I just felt a twinge in my back. I think I'm going to be okay, but I want you to know that I was lifting a box. The contents shifted. Whatever happened, hey, I, 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 my back is injured. I, I'm going to try to soldier on, but if I can't, I'll call you back. But the first thing you need to do is notify the management team. I would kind of recommend, and especially in your case, David, you're a great steward. The second call, you should probably call the steward and say, hey, this just happened. I just told this supervisor. They know about it. And uh, if it gets worse or, or if I can't continue on, I'm going to call them back. And hopefully you as a steward, I know you as a steward, 
would tell them, hey, let me know. If, this, if it gets worse, let me know. Let's get you treatment because early treatment's much better than later treatment. Absolutely. And I do advise anybody, like Jim said, call me if you get injured. Also, if you get in an accident of any sort, you know, not only co contact management, contact me. I'll help you guide through it. So let's say, for instance, you get like my hearing starts going out on me, right? Or I get a hernia that happens over time. How should I handle something like that? Well, you, you one of the things that the company we work for uh, frequently says is you have to tell us when it, when it occurred. They, you know, they just don't like having workman's cop injuries. It's not our company, all companies don't. And they try to tell you, you got to tell me exactly when it occurred. However, you know, like in the case of hearing loss, we drive trucks and truck drivers frequently have hearing loss. Those trucks we drive are loud and you can have an injury that occurs over time and you can report it. Hey, my hearing is, is bad. And they're obligated to get treatment for that too. So um, I know that our company, the company will, will try to make you feel bad about that. The one thing that they will do is they'll say, go to your doctor. And that just muddles things up. When you go to your doctor, that muddles things up, especially when you go to your doctor and they have a form that says, is this work related? And you check, yes, it is. And then your doctor says, hey, you're, you're, you asked about hearing, so we'll use hearing. Your hearing is 60% uh, is reduced. And the only thing you can think that ever happened, you know, you weren't in a rock band. I know David Allen, uh, <laughs> with the Lamb of God, I know you go to a lot of, but you, you were driving that truck a lot. And that's where yeah. the, it occurred. But now that you've gone to your doctor, uh, first of all, because you checked it's work-related, Central, your insurance company is probably not going to pay for it. So it muddles things up. So if you really believe that it happened on the job, you need to talk to your steward. You need to get with management and you need to insist on seeing their doctor. Absolutely. That's great advice. Now, now let's say I call up management. I hurt my back on the truck and they're trying to talk me out. It's like, let's say, man, I'm really injured. I don't know if I can make it, but they're like, you need to keep muddling on or you know, maybe sleep it off for a day, see how it feels. What should I do in that scenario? Well, in that scenario, first, first of all, we talked about, I talked about it earlier. You know, if you just felt a twinge and you just want to report it and you think, because, you know, we get those. In the job we have, you get twinges. And, but you want to report it and go on, that's fine. But uh, it really, really aggravates me that management, a lot of times guys will call up, drivers will call up and say, I cannot continue and they'll go, well, you only got 30 stops left. Can you just knock those 30 out? It doesn't help you. If you are hurt so bad that, you know, you just call them up and say, if you can drive back to the building, say, I'm on my way back to the building and I need medical treatment. And when you get back to the building, insist on, on medical treatment. And you, this is the one place where you really need to call your steward. You really need to say, look, they because they will make those subtle threats. You know, you're not hurt that bad. If we find out you're not hurt that bad, uh, you know, this is going to look bad for you. That's one of the things I know that you've heard. This is going to look mm -hmm. bad. No, uh, you, you, you call your steward. Let him give you a little bit of courage. Let him make a call to the manager. Hey, Higginbotham's out here and he's hurt and he can't keep coming, keep working. And he's coming back to the building and you better get him to the doctor. All right, let's say I go back to the building, right? And they say, hey, go ahead and sleep it off. Take some Advil, you know, just, you'll be fine. Like, what should I do in that scenario? In that scenario, it, and it, I'm strongly opposed to delaying treatment. I really am. And in that scenario, if you are hurt, you're having a hard time, you know, say you've hurt your back and now you're having a hard time walking or, or sitting or standing up straight. Waiting is probably not going to be uh, medically beneficial to you. And you should say, no, I, I don't want to wait. I want to go see the doctor now. I want to go see the doctor now. And, and I, I know that the company frequently tries to think, tell you that you're going to get better. Uh, you'll feel better in the morning. Why? Why would you feel better? You feel so bad now. What's a few hours rest going to do? 
you probably need some treatment. You should insist on, no, I'm going to go to the doctor. And, yeah. and, and again, if you have to call your steward. Now let's say for instance, you get bit by like some poisonous snake or you have something that's kind of like life threatening on your hands. How should you handle that out on the route? Well, this is just for the state of Georgia. I can't tell you for others, David, but, mm -hmm. but in the state of Georgia, you have a right to a, uh, seek treatment wherever you can seek it. And the, and workman's comp has to pay for that first visit. So if you get bit by a dog and you know, you're bleeding, you're under no obligation to call your management team and tell them, hey, I just got bit by a dog. What do you want me to do? Uh, we actually had a driver out in the country that really got tore up by a dog and he needed to go to the emergency room. And uh, I, you can, if you have something like that, you're bit by a dog, you're bit by a snake, uh, you're bleeding, you can get treatment at the what I always call a doc in the box a clinic. You can go to the emergency room if you're bleeding and call the company from there. Hey, your package, your, your car, your truck is sitting out here in the parking lot. I'm right here. I'm going to be getting uh, treatment. They're going to be stitching me up or I'm going to be seeing the doctor in a few minutes. It's not, you don't have to get their permission. And in the state of Georgia, workman's comp covers that first visit, wherever you, wherever you make it. Excellent. All right. So, now, I go to a doctor, right? And they give me, I guess, advice I just don't agree with, right? Uh, right. Maybe I want to get, maybe I want to get an MRI done, and they're refusing to do it. How should I handle something like this? Well, again, in the state of Georgia, the company has to post a list of doctors. So when you're injured, and if if everybody watching this goes and finds that list in their building, it says on there that the employee gets to pick the doctor. So, you know, if you have what we're talking about here, back injury, a knee injury, something like that, in my mind, I always think you need to go to an orthopedist. And there are orthopedic doctors on that list. So first thing, you should pick your own doctor, but the company always wants you to send you to an uh, industrial clinic. And those clinics, in my experience, those doctors have already worked out with you what they're going to do. So you come there and you're saying, my back hurts so bad, I can't sit. My back hurts so bad, I can't stand up straight. They already have a, they just pull a paper out and say, okay, we'll give you muscle relaxers. We'll give you uh, some extra strength Tylenol and three, you can work light duty. In three days, you go to one physical therapy and then you go back to work. Something like that is... Uh, probably not what you want. So if you go to a doctor like that and he says, hey, you're cleared to go back to work and you say, no, my back still hurts. And he goes, no, go back to work, see how you can do. In a case like that, in the in the state of Georgia, and I hate to keep, keep um, harping yeah. on that, but in the state of Georgia, you have a one-time right to change doctors. So when you get injured, they're supposed to give you a phone number for uh, the medical provider for workman's comp. And right now I think that's Liberty Mutual and they're supposed to give you a reference number and you can call Liberty Mutual and say, I want to exercise my right to a one-time change of doctor. And so I'm actually going through that now with another employee where the doctor told him he could go to work and the guy couldn't even walk in the building. And uh, so uh, he's exercising his right to the one-time change and uh, hopefully get a, an, an MRI or a CAT scan or whatever they do for doc, you know, x-rays, you can't see soft tissue injuries with x-rays. And that, that's what they do. These clinics caduceus concentric. Yeah. Yeah. I guess, uh, one final question, which may or may not make this, but the one final question, um, you go to the doctor, you just do not agree with the workman's comp doctor and what's going on. Uh, are you allowed to go to your personal doctor? How does that work? You know, in that sort of scenario. Well, you can't, you can't go to your personal doctor. I mean, people do, but again, like I said earlier, if you, uh, go to your personal doctor and you, uh, tell them that it was an on the job injury, your insurance company is probably not going to pay that. However, I will tell you, there's something that the insurance company does called subrogation. So, 
frequently the insurance that we have, and you're right, it does cover the entire Southern region, uh, nine states. That insurance will have you sign a subrogation form and they will sue you. They will, they will uh, work it out with the other insurance company uh, to get it paid. But, but if the other insurance company won't pay it, then, then our insurance company frequently will uh, deduct it out of future payments to you. Mm, okay. All right. That's good information. A lot of great information tonight. Um, is there anything else, any closing statements that come to mind before we close this out? Well, you know, I mean, in this life, you have to take care of yourself. So I do have a closing statement. In this life, you have to take care of yourself. And and the one thing I think that most of your viewers are are looking for a career. We work we work for a good company. We can make a career here. And and if you don't take care of yourself, I say it all the time, if you you can end up not being able to do what you want to do on the weekends when you're older or when you retire. And I say all the time, if you like hiking, but you've wore out your knees on this job because you didn't get medical treatment when you should have, uh, you're not going to be able to go hiking. If you like playing golf and you have injured your back and tried to work through it, um, you may not be able to play golf when you're older. And none of us want that. Everybody goes to work so that they can have a life so that they can pay bills. And sometimes in this life, management will tell you, no, uh, I'm not gonna send you to a doctor and you have to insist. And that's where your union steward, your business agent, they help you. Uh, that's one of the places they help you. So I, I strongly would say to people, and we talked about it, don't let them tell you, go home, see if you feel better in the morning. If you're hurt, take care of yourself, exercise your right. And then the one last thing I'll say to you is I had somebody the other day say, well, I didn't file a workman's comp claim because I didn't want a target on my back. And you know that individual. And uh, I have not seen, when you have a legitimate injury, I haven't seen this company. It's the only one that I'm familiar with. I haven't seen them retaliate against people. They have a lot of workman's comp injuries. They don't like them but I believe that the management team understands it. So don't, don't feel any shame in needing to get medical treatment. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Thank you, Jim, so much for coming on. Uh, this is some great information. I think a lot of the people uh, in the Southern region will really uh, take to home. And I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you.